What's up, my lovely people? Trust you are fine and staying safe. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And whether you are single, dating, married, or looking to start a relationship, we are all looking forward to either giving love or receiving love. Now, yours truly, Impressive IQ, is here to share some few tips that you don't break your heart on your Valentine's Day. I'm going to be sharing three key tips that you have to look out for as you go through the day so that you don't end up breaking your heart or better still breaking the heart of your partner and even ruining the relationship in the process so if you are ready get on board and let's go all right number one don't be intentionally moody towards your partner just because it's vows day now the idea here is to be as cheerful and vibrant as possible valentine's day is a mood you don't have to deliberately seem moody just so you attract attention from your partner now that is a bit critical you should understand that your mood and the vibe you put out resonates with your partner and it comes back to you valentine's day is more like a feeling although we celebrate it in a particular day it's more like a feeling that goes to show how well you relate with your husband you relate with your wife your partner or somebody you are looking to build a relationship with so that's the key thing intentionally acting moody in the hope of getting attention from your partner can just put the person off you know a moody posturing it's 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 like the covid 19 it's contagious and sometimes if somebody is meeting you with vibrance cheerfulness happiness and eagerness and you resonate moodiness towards the person it just throws the person off and guess what just like that your vows day is ruined and vows day is not just about wearing red and hoping for the best whilst you are moody so if you start your vows day with that moody atmosphere you will still be in red but guess what your vows day will just be ruined all right so that's from me to you. Take note. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we move on. Number two, be realistic about your financial expectations. What do I mean? Many a time on Vows Day, there are people who are expecting that the best way for them to be shown love by their partners is is dependent on how much their partners spend on them it's not wrong to be expecting that engagement ring or you know that promise ring it, it's beautiful if it happens but in case it doesn't don't let it affect the way you feel about the day and your partner you could be dreaming of that dream proposal that romantic uniquely planned proposal from your partner and if it happens, that's like icing on the cake for you. But in case it doesn't, don't let it ruin the day. Understand that love is not based on money. The others who are expecting that dream sports car, that Mercedes convertible, that flashy ride that they can show off. And you, you, you could be lucky enough to get it, you know, maybe not this vows day, maybe not next year's vows day, but in two years time, your partner could be in a position to afford and gift you that. Hallelujah, if you get it. But in, in case your partner is not yet in a position to do that, don't worry. Once you start doing that, you begin to realize that you have a lot of reasons to be sad on a day that is earmarked for love and happiness. Be proud of what you have in your partner, be grateful for what your partner gives you, and be happy about it. Number 3. Valentine's Day is based on love, not just sex. And guys, this goes out to you. No hard feelings and I hope you, you, you don't take it personal. But you know, the, the, the little things that we do with our partners, it goes a long way to cement the love and happiness in our various relationships. And Valentine's Day is just a reminder that of all the numerous people in the world, in your life, 
this is the one person that sits in this special category in your heart and the little things you do with the person should be appreciated value it the time spent together it could be just a cup of coffee just a drink you went somewhere to sit to share anything no matter how little it's 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 been said that it's the little things that make the big things stand so let's just appreciate that in getting with our partner it's it's not necessarily about sex let's not expect that oh because it's vows day and probably i've spent whatever amount or i've put in whatever effort at the end of the day i need to get some sex you'll be wrong if you start thinking in that way and it makes the day lose its essence in fact it's best celebrated when we appreciate the time that we spend with each other the time that we spend talking about our dreams talking about our plans it's actually the best one of the best times to actually plan your life and your relationship together as a couple if you are looking to get married you should be talking more about this don't follow the crowd don't allow yourself to be influenced by society and certainly don't be comparing your relationship to that of others you have no idea what they are going through that they don't show you be into yourself be concerned about yourselves spend time with each other quality time look into each other's eyes play silly games and it helps strengthen the bond between the two of you and you begin to realize that no matter where you find yourselves no matter the situation you find yourselves in once the two of you are together everything makes sense and nothing is too difficult to get through as a couple if you can afford you can factor in the consideration of planning a little getaway just to have fun a change of scenery just to fool around have fun maybe share a glass of wine and just get to know more about each other get to know how your day have been how life is going how your new year resolutions are panning out be cheerful and be into each other other than that misery will catch up with you and you begin to realize or feel like your valentine's day is suddenly not as you expected because you've put in unrealistic expectations and because for the guys you didn't get the sex you be miserable when you start doing this you begin to realize that instead of being sad or having reasons to be sad it begins to dawn on you that hey wait a minute i have a lot to be happy for my lady is with me she's spending quality time with me my guy is with me and it's not just about the fact that he's into me he's not here because he's hoping to have sex he's here for me in totality no matter what i'm going through or we are going through we are here and the relationship grows and there's total realistic happiness and about the gift whatever gift you receive from your husband or your spouse or that special person on valentine's day cherish it it's not about the value of the gift it's about the thought behind it all right so there we go enjoy your valentine's day don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications and share with your loved ones it could go a long way to save your relationship as always impressive iq mastermind of life peace